talk. I'm like, yeah, he's like, do you guys have walkie talkies? I'm like, I'm like yeah, that's cool. <laughs> like, that's my wife. Right? Buddy thought I was a dude, because I look like a dude this morning. <laughs> if you missed this series so far, we bought a piece of land in western New York that we're building out our own personal campsite on. Now the big picture is to build a cabin eventually, but first we're starting small so we can get to know our property. In last week's video, we cleared a space to camp with the trucks and then started working on our site for our large tent platform, our pathway, our campfire, and our small tent platform. We got everything cleared, we got it graded, and today we're going to start putting down the stone as a base for our patio. Well, good morning. It is currently 7.30. My brain's not working. We're at the stone yard because today we're picking up gravel for our tent platforms. Apparently the half inch crusher is right in front of you. Does it pull straight ahead? Like right here? Yeah. Just like it. Good to go? Yeah, we're good to go. Oh, wow. That feels different. Feels good to use the truck for truck stuff. You gotta be like straight like this. Pull, you can pull up like you said. Go. All right, cut to the left. Cut to the right. I think I give you bad instructions. Go forward again. All right, that was a debacle. It opened before. I know it did. Now we got a load. Now it doesn't open. Yeah! <laughs> One. One load down. What time is it? It's nine o'clock. What time did it close? Eleven. Back up in. All right, we're getting better at it. This is pretty wicked. It's basically like a little mini dump truck now. That's two. We're only gonna be able to get one more. Round three, last one. Last one because the place closes by the time we get there. All right, that's the final load, 11.20 a.m. All right, we got four tons of stone. Half inch crushed limestone. She ain't a big pile, but she's a pile. Oh my God, so much work for such a small little piddly pile <laughs> of dirt. <laughs> I feel like that's not gonna layer out to anything more than that one tent platform. Yeah, I don't think so. Look at this fall moment happening. It's happening. Peep dim leaves. The other's like pure green and pure red. Yeah. That reminds me of when I was a child. We got some friends at the family's house. Mm -hmm. Before I was in the paintball, I didn't know what paintball was. Is this for the camera or are you telling me this? It's in the camera. I found a box of gumballs that were half red, that color red and like candy apple red and then half like green, like forest green. I was like, ooh, these look delicious. Put one in my mouth, bit down, paint all in my mouth. They were paintballs, not gumballs. Wah. It's funny you're classically conditioned. I still, I see those color combinations. I'm like, Ugh. Hey, Chris, don't pack into a tree. Thank you, too soon. Is he pro, is he? Huh? First time Rivian's towed anything. And how'd she do? She great. Yeah, except my one gripe was that the hitch for the electrical only has a seven pin outlet, whereas your Ford has a seven pin and a four pin. This small trailer is a standard like four pin one. So I had to go back and buy an adapter, which is a bit of a pain. Can we finally start working? Yeah, 12, quarter one. Oh God. So camp goes right here. This is the original place we actually cleared last episode. We'll link to that up here if you haven't seen it. This whole area, we kind of were just sort of freestyling all this. We don't really have a plan. We're kind of making the plan up as we go. Cause it's the woods, right? You know, you just do what you want in the woods. Park on better terrain. The ground may be too steep to level here. We're out of, we're out of tolerance. Oh shit. All so right. maybe back it up. Park on better terrain. Wow. All right. Looks I can like- I feel it sinking. Looks like it'll work. We made this area the parking area. And then that turned into a like, oh, this is a great place for car camping. So that's where we set up camp last time. And it kind of worked out having the cars like butt to butt. And Becky's uh, pickup truck, she can basically work out of that and get all the stuff out of it. And then turn around and boom, there's Rivian back on us. And we've got our sleeping area there. And then in between, it's a nice little camp area. So did you bring your new table? Yes. Yeah, we got a new table now. So we'll have a little bit more comfortable eating set up. Company Luno sent me a bunch of really cool camping gear. There's a couple of things that we needed last time and a mat for the ground for us to change was one of them. They take a bunch of recycled air mattresses like, and they turn them into mats and like other products. So, wow, that looks cool too. Yeah. yeah, it's nice, isn't it? It's Gouda and ham on a croissant with a like a little of honey mustard. Like if somebody yelled it, honey mustard from like over in the woods. Yum, it's pretty good. Okay, lunch is done. Lunch is done. Gonna eat a lot of peaches. We are going to move that dirt pile 
put it over there underneath the tent platform and we're going to compact it down four to five inches of compacted crushed stone and it'll give us a solid base to put our tent platform on. This I've never used before, but uh, let's see, this looks like a choke. This looks like a key. This one's easier than an excavator. We need to set up our, our level, what our baseline is. So I'll use the laser level and we'll get the grading stick out. Uh, psych, we actually had to put down landscape fabric first. Because we're in the woods, there's a lot of roots or ruts as some people call them, and ferns. So we wanna make sure that nothing grows up underneath the tent platform. Then we're gonna put the stone on top, level it. We're gonna compact the stone after that. Giddy up, horsey, let's go. Not only are we short, but we're short. Do you have gray? Of course, the first one that I go to film, I hit a rock. All right, so essentially what we're doing here is creating a gravel base. So we've got a couple of inches of crusher here. We just leveled it out. Now we're gonna run the plate compactor over it, pack it down a bit, and then we're gonna add a few more inches on top and that will pretty much be it for the stone that we got this morning, unfortunately. Well, we were making so much great progress, but when it came time to fire up the plate compactor, it didn't quite work. We got the engine running, but it wasn't really sputtering up and doing the job that it was supposed to do. It worked properly for a couple of minutes and then it would just stop. Done work. And every now and then it sputters up a little bit and it jumps a little few hops. And like we're able to get a little bit done, but it's not working as any other plate compactor that I've ever used has worked. And I don't know enough about small engines to troubleshoot this. I've downloaded the manual and it's less than helpful. So. Such a piss off because the cheapest piece of equipment to rent is the plate compactor. We need to compact this before we can put more stone down. But now we've got all this other equipment that we got. And we can't finish the job. Or we got the manual tamper, so. So I Googled the PSI, the pounds per square inch that a like roller drum exerts on like aggregate under a road. Found a, a number that said like about 45 PSI, 45 pounds per square inch, which doesn't seem like that much, but I was thinking the Rivian, it's a very heavy vehicle. It's a 36 square inches per tire times four tires. It's 144 square inches that this vehicle is making contact with the ground. Now the it's pounds, so it's about it's 48 PSI. All right, so we're gonna roll the Rivian over <laughs> the paver base. Become a little bit disillusioned with this project. We have interrupt this uh, site prep program to bring you this important message. We need some lights. We're gonna rope up some string lights temporarily in our little campsite area, see if it works out with our anchor battery. And if it does, we might run these all over the campsite. Moment of truth. Ready? Yeah. Oh yeah, cool. Tonight we're having a steak because we thought we're gonna be working really hard in the woods. We've been up since 5.30. We've had a lot of bungles today. I must say, we got a pretty cozy vibe here going this evening. The wind is after dying down a bit. So my fire is just burning down into the coals. And you got the full truck set up for camp kitchen right now. I ended up buying a new table for us because we didn't really have a proper place to eat. So I have that set here. Got a little uh, Norton Goods candle going. So I'm just waiting for this to die down and then um, we'll get the steak on. Nice 
fat spinalis in this guy. Perfect. Oh my god, it's like a prime rib roast. It's pretty good. Now it goes at home. But... Did you sleep? I feel good, actually. We have a new air mattress, and it is so much better than the last setup. Yeah, it was cozy. It's cold out. It is a monumentous occasion. It's a monumentous occasion. We have building materials for 10 platform number one. We loaded all this onto a cart at the hardware store. We then loaded all of it off the cart into the trailer, and now we have to load it out of the trailer onto the building area. Just remember that we have a dump trailer, so we're gonna work smarter, not harder. Work smarter, not harder. All right, so pretty successful weekend. We got a rain going on here now. So we didn't get enough stone to get both tent platforms prepped, just the one. And also the plate compactor didn't work, which really kind of put a wrench in our plan. So we decided we're just gonna chunk it down and we're gonna try to work on the first tent platform first. And then we'll later on move on to the bigger one because it's just a bit more manageable to break it up into small chunks. Pretty good, pretty decent progress. I was hoping to get all the gravel work done for both tent platforms because we're doing a small one and then a big one sort of further back. But as Becky said, maybe it's better just to kind of like chunk it down a little bit since we couldn't get it all done because the plate compactor didn't work and we didn't have enough stones. So it's a comedy of errors or comedy of snafus. But anyway, it is what it is. I think we're gonna be able to get the uh, deck structured, well, hopefully started today. And I think that's good progress. Something that Becky and I have been talking about is like, this is not like a job with a deadline. Like we don't have to stress out about this. It's like, oh, we hit some snags. The goal is to get outside, do something outside, have some physical activity, enjoy the woods. And so we don't wanna lose sight of, you know, enjoying the process, we'll say. So with that said, if we don't get as much done as we wanted this weekend, who cares, right? We might have to just rent some more heavy equipment another weekend and do the rest of that time. With that being said, in the next one, you'll see us build the very first tent platform, which is the smallest of the two. But for now, we're gonna leave you. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll catch you next Sunday for another video. Bye. The Sleepy Creek. Sleepy Creek, baby. Hey. Does your hat say sepsis? Yeah, it's sepsis. It's like Pepsi, but sepsis. <laughs> get it? Yeah, get anyway. it. Anyway. Just like straddling this. And I'm picturing a story I heard when someone was- Oh, and it came up and hit them in the nuts? No, it launched them. Oh, Jesus fucking like a, Christ. Like a trebuchet. A trebuchet. A catapult. Okay. They see me rolling. They heard it. Patrolling. <laughs> I'm riding dirty. I guess we're riding dirty. Yeah, I'm in a bit of a mood right now. Every now and then I get in these weird chaos moods. I love it. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> Almost had a wire strike. <laughs>